So Unity recently released this Game Studios report from 2018, where they submitted forms for Game Studios to fill out, and it allowed Unity to collect interesting stats, such as how these studios are publishing their games, the budgets they have, and things like that. And they also decided to share this full report with us for completely free, so that we can learn from the experiences of these studios. And that's a good thing, because I had a lot of people asking me, like, how do I publish my game? And so, in this video, we're going to check out if you actually need a third-party publisher or if you can go solo if you're not a big studio and we'll also obviously check out this report by unity and see what the other studios had to say so without further ado let's get started hey guys it's sam here and so if you're an indie developer too like us in this community you've probably at least once in your lifetime asked yourself the question how do i publish my game honestly it's super normal because every indie developer asks themselves this question I did it too when I used to make games. And finding a publisher nowadays has become super difficult in its own. And it becomes harder considering that some of these companies can have ridiculous terms for you to fill. Like I remember the first publishing company I was in touch with, and I'm not gonna share any names for obvious reasons, but I wanna tell you about my horrible experience with them so you know about that. But first, this video is sponsored by Atavism. Atavism is an RPG-oriented network solution for Unity. The server side is written in Java and has around 220,000 lines of code, which is crazy, whereas the client side is built with Unity C Sharp. Atavism works with the most popular database solution MySQL, and you can manage all settings of Atavism within the Unity editor. This asset comes with a multi-threaded and dedicated server solution with login and world server architecture. Atavism also features the core of every MMO game and even more. This long list of features includes quests, factions, items, skills, abilities, instances, account management, mobs and NPCs, and so much more. There's also a dynamic weather system, including a full day and night cycle. You can have it raining, snowing, or sunny overall. You can also add pets to your games with Atavism and have different races for your characters. You can also set up classes, add an inventory for each player, and allow the players to ride into battles with cool mounts. Dragon Sand Studios, the developers of Atavism, have also collaborated with many Unity Asset Store developers to make sure Atavism works perfectly fine with their assets too. So in basic words, if you're building an MMO in Unity and you're worrying about networking infrastructures, building all these components and adding basic features as well as the advanced ones, you should definitely check out Atavism. It simply eliminates that fear and helps you finish your game so much faster. And obviously, if you want to check out more about Atavism, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description box of this video. And now, let's return to the video. So the introduction was super nice with this publishing company, and they had a lot to offer in terms of marketing and advertising, which was what my game and I lacked at the time. And this story is from like four to five years ago, so it's not recent. And that means I didn't have Saiku up then, right? But I had another YouTube channel where I tried promoting the game. And I was lucky enough to get the game ranked as like number 30 or something like that for a couple weeks in a row, which is huge on IndieDB. And if you're not aware, IndieDB is a big indie games collection website where you can basically submit your games for other people to play. Almost like old school HIO. And that brought me some viewers to the YouTube channel. However, they had some stuff they didn't really mention to me verbally, but they were filed in the contract as requirements. And one absurd thing, which really was the reason I canceled this whole deal for now that I think about it, was they required me to delete everything, like everything I had done online for this game. That means screenshots, trailers, gameplay videos, the demo that I had released, and any information about the game, including the website I built for it, the IndieDB page, and they wanted me to take down the entire YouTube channel dedicated for it, just because it was named after my game. They simply just didn't want my community to exist at all, and they wanted their own one to take its place. I thought this was super dumb, and I didn't see a reason to do this, so I canceled the whole thing, knowing it might cost me the future of my game, and maybe even my career, I mean, who knows. But still, honestly, till this day, I'm super happy that I decided to part my ways with them, because I really didn't want to give up on what I had worked so hard for to build outside of my primary projects, you know what I mean? Like, the game itself. And the point I'm trying to make here is I think just prove that some publishing companies can be like this and that as many indie developers think nowadays these deals might not be the best option for some and that's not to say this happens all the time or all companies are like this I'm not gonna be like ignorantly saying that I was just simply unlucky 
and learn from it. So I wanted to share that experience with you so you know it and have it in the back of your head whenever you get some kind of deal for you. And that's the reason why I love this report by Unity, which they now share it with us for completely free. And this is actually available to download as a PDF file on their website. And I'm going to link to that in the description box of this video. So the report itself talks about a broad set of topics, but in this video, we're going to mainly focus on the promotion and publishing segments of it. So this is what Unity says. Every day, the Unity success team talks to independent game developers. From the core creative and technical work to finding money and collaborators and learning how to market and sell their games. The Unity 2018 Game Studios report was put together so we could share relevant benchmarking data with emerging studios and help them understand how fellow creative teams operate and make successful games. And so what they did is they basically allowed 1,445 creative studios around the world reply to a form with a set of questions in it. And the studios range in size from 2 to 50 employees and is focusing on their primary project in 2018. But now let's get into the interest part. So we're going to talk in numbers and we'll start by taking a quick look at the overview of these studios that are surveyed so that you know what to expect. So 77% of all studios that were surveyed said that they are currently creating games as for their main projects. That was followed up with other stuff, educational, visualization. Wait, how do you say that word? Visualization. Okay, thanks Google. Visualization. Oh my God, what the hell? Anyway, so <laughs> they were then asked how long they think their projects will take to release. And this is from literally start date to ship date. And less than a single percent of the studios replied by less than six months. And then 22% said about a year or half a year and followed up by the majority, 38% stating 13 to 18 months, which is which I feel like is the most logical one if you're working on a commonly sized project. And 72% of the studios said that their primary project is targeted for PC and desktop, 57% following up by mobile, and then 29% on console. I would also like to mention the genres of these games as stated here, and the largest portion of these game studios are working on action games, followed up by adventure, arcade, RPG, and so on. Surprisingly enough though, Shooter only had 11% of studios vote. So that should at least give you a rough idea of what kind of studios we're hearing from. And here is the most interesting part. 67% of the studios said we will publish our games by ourselves, whereas 20% said they will be using a third-party publisher, and the remaining 13% said that their clients will publish the project, so probably freelancers. So obviously, majority of these studios said they will go for solo publishing, and you might be thinking, well, you know, if you're a huge studio, you can do that easily because money. But take a look at this. Unity said, highlights, 67% of studios will publish their primary project themselves. Of these, 81% have under 10 employees and 63% have under five. So 81% of these studios publishing on their own are small. They haven't got a huge budget for their project, but they're still willing to go on their own. And I feel like this statement could be an inspiration for indie developers that are watching this video, because if your biggest worry right now is to find a publisher, think about these stats. No matter if you're alone, if you have people in your team, or even if you're a significantly larger group of people, you can do it on your own. It's not impossible. You just have to be careful with your steps and put a lot of focus into marketing. And that brings up another interesting question that I want to answer before ending this video. Actually, let's let the studios and it for us because Unity asked which of the following channels have had the most positive impact when promoting your game. Most of the studios went for Facebook and then following up with Twitter and YouTube. Now the thing is Facebook has been around for a long long time and billions of people around the world use it daily. It's undoubtedly the largest social media platform right now. Twitter on the other hand is like a game dev heaven because a lot of game developers for some reason choose to be on Twitter. And YouTube obviously the second largest search engine followed up by Google themselves. You can put any video of your game up to YouTube and promote it from there including trailers. 20% of the studios also picked to do social media advertising and if you don't know about this stuff it's basically like Twitter ads, Facebook promotional messages, YouTube ads and stuff like that. If you want to learn more about these things by the way I'll leave a few links in the description box under show links 
where you can check out more information about pricings and stuff like that for advertisements. Furthermore, they were asked about what type of content they publish for social media. And most studios go for images of their games, so like screenshots, and 73% go for trailers like gameplay trailers and cinematics and stuff like that. And then 46% pick to do articles and blogs. And most of these studios have said that they run on a budget of $200,000 or less. And I just gotta say, don't be intimidated by this number because less than $200,000 might be like 30K, 10K, you know, whatever in between. It's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean like 150K right off the bat. The studios also said that most of them are self-funded and followed up by some having revenue from other contracts and freelancers. So basically doing business. Some get private funding from investors or grants and crowdfunding was interestingly the lowest number. I honestly didn't expect it to be at 3%. So that should give you an idea of how this industry looks for people who are new and also for larger studios that are already creating their own games. Honestly, I seriously want to thank Unity for doing this because it's super valuable the information that they had studios themselves share. And if Unity had to say this, it wouldn't be like as authentic but now that studios are talking out and you know filling out this form and it's 1445 studios it's valuable and we also get to see what actually happens behind the curtains of a studio so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up to show some support and it also makes it very obvious for me to realize what kind of videos you guys enjoy the most also subscribe to the channel so you stay up to tune for new content and turn on the bell notification right below the video so you get notified whenever we upload something new and if you like seeing these type of videos where i basically talk about game development have discussions make tutorials and just like the videos that i upload here in general consider supporting us on patreon patreon allows you to support me monthly Monthly, and that allows me to make more content and live stream more and you also get access to exclusive rewards so my question of the day is how are you going to publish your games from now on or have you published any game do you have your own two cents you would like to add in feel free to comment down below the video and let us know so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i'm really looking forward to see you in the comment section because i really want to see your answers if you have published games if you haven't if you are going to do it and so on and i will also be in our discord server as usual so i'll see you there as well and with that being said thanks for watching and peace out yeah.